Hello, my name is Travis Valbert with Garden Sphere Nursery here in beautiful Tacoma. Welcome to our Enviro House video on how to select and plant fruit trees. Here we're looking at two fruit trees today. We have a standard frost peach. When you're choosing a fruit tree, you want to look at a nice, well-branched tree with branches coming out in all directions. You don't want it to be too flat, too heavy on one side. You want to choose trees that don't have broken tips and with stems that aren't wilted or shriveled. To the right here, we have a columnar tree. This is a specific type of tree, and this is the tree we'll be planting today. Columnar trees are bred for pots and small spaces. They grow no more than 18 to 24 inches wide and about six to seven feet tall. Third type of tree we don't have today is called an espalier, and you may have seen those before. Those are flat lateral trees trained to go against houses or trellises. One important thing to keep in mind when you're choosing a tree is the graft point. On these two trees, the graft point is low. You'll notice it is a ball, a crown, or a crook at the bottom of the tree. When you're planting your fruit trees, be sure never to bury that graft point, but you can plant up to that graft point. On an espalier tree, the graft points will be high on the tree where the branches are actually connected to the main stalk. Another important thing to keep in mind with your fruit trees is exposure and location. Make sure you have a space big enough for the tree you're choosing. Trees are grown on rootstock, which is where that graft point comes into play. Rootstock determines the entire height and width of the tree, with mini being as small as five to six feet, dwarf being eight to 10, semi-dwarf 10 to 12, and standard trees being 20 plus feet. You also want to look at sun exposure. Full sun is best, but half a day is minimum. And today we've chosen a beautiful spot on the southwest side of the house. We're going to make sure that it's far enough away from any structure. The tree we chose again is a columnar apple. It's going to grow 18 to 24 inches wide. So we need to do at least half that distance away from the house. We're now going to dig a nice liberal sized hole. You want to make sure that the hole is larger in width and depth than the pot that the tree is in or if you've picked up a bare root fruit tree, which simply indicates that there is no soil around the roots, and this is very frequent in the dormant season, you wanna make sure that the hole is liberally sized to accommodate those roots without bending or forcing them into position. Now that we've got a nice sized hole dug with the soil loosened up, we're gonna always wanna choose a great compost or potting soil to blend into the soil. In this case, we're using the wonderful city-produced Tagro potting soil. This tree was bare root about a week ago, so when we pull it out of the pot, we're gonna see the root structure on it. As you can see, that's what we would call a bare root tree. And this, again, happens most in the dormant season, not in the active growing season. We're then gonna marry the two soils together to get a nice blend, and we're gonna structure the bottom of the hole to support the roots, again, without forcing them into position. Continue to blend the rest of the soils and bury the root ball of that tree. We can clearly see the graft point on this, so again, we do not want to cover that graft point. Once you've got the soil positioned, feel free to lightly compact it with your hands or your feet, but not excessively so. And if the tree wants to continue to lean or blow in the wind, feel free to stake it. But in general, trees benefit from not being staked as the wind provides a good stimulus for them. So that's our Enviro House how-to video on fruit trees. We hope that you are encouraged and go out and select a fruit tree. Be sure to like us, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Travis Valbert with Garden Sphere, and we look forward to your success.